The town has finally done something to address the sewer ordinance, which requires mandatory connections for residential properties to a sewer plant that was originally designed and built for the purpose of supporting commercial development in Edgewood. At a town council meeting on June 19, 2019, the town amended the sewer ordinance to grant exemptions to the mandatory residential connection requirements, at least for now, that will allow property owners with functioning septic systems to continue using them. It would seem that the public outcry about astronomical application fees, connection costs, and expenses to decommission and collapse existing septic tanks was taken into consideration by the town council in making their decision to delay the implementation of a law that would have been impossible for most residents to comply with, subjecting them to possible liens, foreclosure, and criminal penalties. Experience has taught me that the politicians and bureaucrats that run governmental agencies are not to be trusted. If the town intended to eliminate the mandatory connection requirements for residential property owners, they could have amended the sewer ordinance accordingly, or they could have repealed the ordinance in its entirety. Why didn't they? Perhaps the reason hasn't been disclosed yet by the mayor or other town officials, who are continually working to keep town business out of the light of day and free from the oversight of the public. The town has already entered into an interim loan agreement with the New Mexico Environment Department for the construction and expansion of improvements to the sewer plant under the state's Wastewater Facility Construction Loan Act. This interim loan agreement was most recently reauthorized by the town on November 14, 2018 and signed by the mayor and town clerk on March 11, 2019. In exchange for a $450,000 loan and a $200,000 grant, the town is contractually required to force property owners to connect to the sewer system if any of that money is used for the construction of sewer collection lines that could serve their property. How will the town force residents to connect? The loan agreement with the Environment Department requires the town to compel these mandatory connections through the adoption and annual review of a sewer ordinance. How does the town intend to repay the debt created by this loan? In the loan agreement, the town promised to assess and collect sewer customers whatever rates, fees, and charges are required to meet its repayment obligations, no exceptions. In the event the town fails to actually do that, they've pledged our gross receipts revenues as collateral for the loan. The town's current amendments to the sewer ordinance to create an exemption for mandatory residential connections appear to constitute a default of its contractual obligations with the Environment Department under the loan agreement. For that reason, we are skeptical that the recently passed exemptions will stand the test of time. We think it is much more likely that the town's recent action was only intended to call off the dogs, but rest assured they'll bring back the mandatory residential connection requirements before they ever consider returning the money, particularly since some or all of it has already been spent or encumbered. The next thing to watch for is the town's proposed capital improvements projects and funding requests going forward. If the town abandons its prior requests for money to continue its sewer line expansion, then perhaps the mandatory connection requirements will continue to be kicked down the road. But if they don't, then consider yourself warned that the recent amendments to allow residential exemptions were just for show. The only way to ensure that no one is required to connect to a residential sewer system, which doesn't make any sense given Edgewood's rural character and a lack of urban density, is to make sure that the town doesn't continue to put any more residential sewer lines in the ground. If they do, then the mandatory connections will be reinstated, either by the town or by the Environment Department. This is Adrian Terry, brought to you by Citizens for an Open and Responsible Edgewood.